It's been a week full of headlines in the media industry with AT&T closing its purchase of Time Warner and Comcast topping Walt Disney's bid to acquire entertainment assets from 21st Century Fox, of course, the parent company of Fox Business Network. Moody's, though, says Comcast Fox deal could make Comcast the second most indebted company on the planet. That's behind AT&T. We have Melissa Armo of StockSwoosh.com joining us right now. Good morning, Melissa. Thank you for coming on this morning. Uh, So we got to talk about the debt load of Comcast potentially could be up to $164 billion. Do you think that's the problem for the company? Well, right now they're trading down. Uh, The stock hasn't looked that great considering the way the market rallied in 2017. So sure, it could be a problem. But these companies are used to taking on debt. Obviously, they're trying to grow. Maybe they're trying to grow a little bit big too fast, too quickly. It remains to be seen. We don't even know if Fox is going to accept their bid or not. I'm sure Disney's going to come back with something. But isn't that almost a change of strategy for Comcast? Because they're known to be quite conservative in their uh, just in their finances. And now going forward with this amount of debt, it's quite a bit. And their stock has also been depressed over the last little while. Yes, it has been. But the, the problem is that everybody is so worried now about competing. These companies are worried that they're not going to be able to compete with Netflix. Everyone's consolidating. I'm not saying that's good. In fact, for the consumer, I think that that's not good. I think it's bad. It's going to mean less companies, less choice, less creativity in the market producing content. But these companies want to control content. They want to produce content. They want to charge for it. And and Comcast is kind of just seeing the writing on the wall, thinking, probably feeling that they have to do this in order to grow and expand or survive in the long term. They're not just looking at the next year. They're looking at the next 10 10 years, next 20 years. Right. So then almost it's inevitable as a Comcast. If I was running Comcast, I would think, how else am I going to compete with all of the new content that's constantly coming out with Netflix? Okay, it makes sense for me to go after Fox's assets. So I feel like you're talking about that it's going to cost more for consumers. Unfortunately, I I agree with that. But isn't that something maybe long term, five, 10 years from now, and possibly the landscape can, can change from here? Well, the landscape is changing. It's already been changing. I mean, that's why everybody's so afraid of Netflix. People are watching more content streaming because if you're on your phone, you're walking around during the day, you can watch your phone. When you're watching television, you only have to be sitting in your apartment or in your home to watch TV. Also, cost of getting something like Netflix or streaming is either free or cheap, like the Hulu. And that's another big reason why everybody's going after Fox. Whoever ends up buying Fox is going to end up owning 60% of Hulu. That's big time. That's one of the reasons why Disney wanted to buy Fox too. That's huge. So I don't know what Disney's going to do, but to be a part of Disney, it'll be interesting to see what Fox does and what what offer Disney comes back with, because to be a part of Disney is so much more, so much more than just the the television or movie aspect of it. It's the Disney parks. And just very, very quickly, do you think the share price of all these companies, let's say Comcast, they're going to climb up higher? Would you get in? Would you buy? I would not buy Comcast right now. I would not buy AT&T right now. I love Foxa. (laughs) Thank you. Thank you very much, Melissa. I appreciate that. Have a great morning. I I echo that sentiment. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) All right. Well, we still got a lot more coming up. Uh, Democrats are gearing up for a DACA fight as Republicans release their new immigration plan. We're going to break all of it down coming up. And if you've ever had.